Hello, this is my bulk social media post generator. Um, so use GPT to, to generate social media posts. Um, the quality of what it produces is actually really good. It, it, it is quite good at doing social media posts. Um, so you can see some here uh, that's done. This is for kind of a made up hotel um, on the island of Anglesey, not far from here. And I've told it to target couples and things like that. And I've asked it to use emojis. You can see it, it is actually um, pretty good what it produces. Um, so I'll show you how to get a copy and how to set it up and get it working for you and how to use it. Um, so first thing, I'll just clear that what we've got here, clear output. Um, to get your own copy, obviously instructions, um, you just follow these steps. So you click file and make a copy at the top. Um, if you haven't used one of my tools before, you have to get your API key from OpenAI. Um, so you just follow that link and log in with the same email address you use for ChatGPT, you get the API key, and you stick your key in that square. And then um, we have a settings column down here on the left, so you can see lots of different settings that you can use to kind of customize the type of post you want it to produce. And you don't have to use all of these, so you, you just delete or edit what's in the blue square, whatever kind of matches what you would like. And um, so I'll go through some of them. So writing style here, yes. so do you want to use kind of formal business or funny or advert copy and, and things like that. Um, a description of the person or the business. Um, so for this one, we've done um, a guest house, so a small hotel in Anglesey called Sunnyside Guest House. Um, location, if it's relevant, if it's not relevant, you literally just delete it. Um, and then it won't mention location within the post. So if it was like a software company or something, if it's not location relevant, then you would delete that. Um, how long do you want the post to be, who the target audience is, so these are just ideas, um, but you, obviously, you can write your own, and so it could be like people interested in programming or whatever you wanted. Do you want it to use emojis, it depends on where you're going to post it, do you want it to have hashtags, hashtags is just kind of guessing the hashtags, it's making up its own, um, it, it does not actually check, it can't check what's a popular hashtag, but it's pretty good at guessing. Um, yeah, and then a few other options there, so you set them up. Um, then you put your topics in so your topics um you can just write anything if you don't want to come up with a topic or you can and if you want to do like multiple posts to choose from um so it drafts a few and you just choose one just put that in um if you want it or if you have a specific offer say 15 percent off this mother's day um we'll just do a couple um free box of Chocolate. And we'll pass for a couple of those. Um, and I'll start it running. And it'll produce those posts. We've also got um, made another tool. We we'll just included this little tool with it as well. Um, so topic suggestions. So if you can't think of ideas for topics or you'd like to see a list first, um, you just use this. It pulls in all your settings that you've set up on the other screen. Um, and it should come up with up to 20 topic ideas just to give you ideas to put them in um, or you can just use the anything one and um, it does standard form which is however many paragraphs you asked it to do in the settings and then does a twitter version of it as well and um, which it makes sure is under 280 characters and um, you don't want the twitter one you can just press skip on there um, and it won't do the twitter one then if you do ever decide you do want it back and <laughs> um, you just come back and put that on there um, do, do, do I mean that's pretty much it really you can see it's writing the posts and then it'll write the Twitter version of the post um, as many as you want um, good ideas in terms of how to use it what you can do that you can see here social media generator we've got this tab and um, if you want to sort of have different settings for different platforms so you want you wouldn't might not want emojis on LinkedIn you might want a business style and um, you can just duplicate the sheet and then rename it LinkedIn version for example or whatever um, or if you manage a lot of social media accounts, then um, you can have like 10 different sheets, a sheet for each client or, or whatever it is you do. Um, you can see it's got a little number count here. It just confirms they're all under 280 characters. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's that much more to explain. It's pretty, it was pretty easy to make and the, the output's quite good. You can do as many as you want. Um, the prompt, you can edit the prompt if you want. You can see it's just... Lots of if statements to check you've actually got a value in here. So if A7 isn't blank, 
this page should be written in a light-hearted style. So it's just pulling it all together into one giant prompt for you, basically, and then sends that to GPT. You're welcome to kind of experiment with that if you want to. Um, I've put little notes in here, so that one's just a backup of the prompt in case you break it. Um, there's that's a little book. There's um, yeah, instructions now to get started, and then we've got some little notes on here. Um, in the blue squares and things like that. And but yeah, that's pretty much it. Look, I think it's easy enough to use and hopefully you find it useful. Okay. Bye for now.